One thing that I think a lot of Star Wars fans absolutely have to be thankful and grateful for is the fact that creator George Lucas made Star Wars possible back in 1977 when he created Star Wars A New Hope and later on The Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, and the prequel trilogy era. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one would argue on whether or not we are going to see a light at the end of the tunnel for the Star Wars universe, for this franchise that is ever evolving as we speak by Disney and Lucasfilm. Now, gladly, of course, you know, a lot of changes are being made by Disney's CEO, Bob Chapek, in order to really create a better future for the franchise, for the fans around the world that were very much unsatisfied with exactly what happened with The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker specifically right? Those two movies are what really are, I believe, the most controversial Disney Star Wars movies out there. Now, when we look at everything that is happening with the new Star Wars expanded universe that's going to range anything from books, novels, comics, video games, and even, of course, movies and TV shows and so on and so forth, that's really going to make up this new expanded universe that's said to actually be far larger than the old one from the 1990s and the early 2000s. Now, on top of all of this, what's really intriguing all has to do with creator George Lucas and Kathleen Kennedy. Now, on top of all of this, what's really intriguing is that now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with The Rise of Skywalker, they are focused on their new Star Wars trilogy of films as well as their new Star Wars universe. Now, the new Disney CEO, Bob Chapek, is said to have multiple plans in order to reunite the fans around the world to create a better future for Star Wars in general. One main focus has to do with bringing back creator George Lucas and how he will be involved with a new era of Star Wars. Now it's noted that originally Kathleen Kennedy was going to resurrect George Lucas's original Star Wars TV show called Star Wars Underworld, however planned to rename the title of the show and would drastically change the plot of the planned Disney Plus TV series. It's noted that Kathleen Kennedy wanted to use her personal agenda with the revised Star Wars Underworld TV series, however Bob Chapek has now allowed George Lucas to take creative control over the revised version of his new Star Wars Underworld TV series and is said to be working closely with Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau by writing over Kathleen Kennedy's ideas and concepts that she had mapped out. It's noted that Lucas also cancelled many of Kennedy's ideas for the new Star Wars universe and concepts and is writing over those ideas as well and will leave, of course, the rest to Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau. If it weren't for George's Star Wars Legends that would actually not be making a return, Kathleen Kennedy would have cancelled it. Now, originally wanted to, of course, not bring Star Wars Legends into the mix by Kathleen Kennedy. However, thanks to George, Lucas has allowed both Jon and Dave to have creative power over Kennedy and also gave permission, was actually given permission by Bob Chapek on who to choose that would actually call the shots on the new Star Wars universe. So what's really intriguing about George Lucas here, I don't know if you guys remember Star Wars Underworld, but Star Wars Underworld was going to be a live action TV series back, you know, in the day when the prequel trilogy was pretty much wrapping up and George Lucas wanted to introduce a brand new TV series that was going to be quite similar to everything, you know, experimented with the Boba Fett Star Wars movie that Disney was trying to do. This is all going to actually go into the underworld, into the actual depths of Coruscant, showing us a different side of Star Wars, and of course on other worlds that would show us black markets and bounty hunters and all these different things. Thieves and scum, all these different things of Star Wars that we all know and love, right? So. The thing about this, the fact that George Lucas took over a lot of Kathleen Kennedy's ideas and specifically took over the planned Underworld TV series that Disney has been looking to resurrect for a very long time now. Originally, Kathleen Kennedy wanted to actually retitle the actual TV show and really throw in her personal agenda to that TV series, where thankfully now Bob Chapek has put that to the wayside and is only allowing George Lucas to have creative control over the planned Star 
Wars TV series for Disney Plus, and that he gave George full permission for Dave and John to actually make creative choices for this TV series and to actually bring in Star Wars Legends. Originally, Kathleen Kennedy wanted nothing to do with Star Wars Legends and wanted to actually create her own take on a new expanded universe that would actually be somewhat similar to Star Wars Legends, but at the same exact time would not respect it. So George Lucas has been writing over all those different ideas. He's been working very closely with John and Dave to create a better new Star Wars universe. Like I say, it's going to be bigger and better than the old one, and that's exactly what they want to do. They want to think big, they want to think outside the box, and they really want to evolve Star Wars as much as they can while they can, right? This is the time to do it, and that's exactly what they know as of right now. So with that being said, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.